Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at creating a walk by transition. So let's go ahead and take a look at what a walk by transition looks like. All right, so as you can see, it's basically video with someone walking by and another video reveals itself in the background. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. I already have my two clips here, my two sub clips pre-cut exactly where I want them. Now I want to add them to the timeline, but I only want to add the video, not the audio, since the audio is full of a bunch of wind noise, background noise, you know, ambient noise that I don't want in the video. So a quick way to do this would be to right click the clips, hold that down, drag them to the timeline and let go. A context menu will then appear where we can go down here and insert the video only. Now this gives us three choices. We can either add the video across the time, across tracks, or as takes. Now it tells you down here what each one does. Across time basically adds each video right next to each other. Uh, across tracks will add each video in separate individual tracks. And as takes will add them all in one track as multiple takes. So I'm going to add them across tracks. Click that. And there we have each video and their own separate video track. So that saves us a bunch of time from adding the video and then deleting the audio, etc. Now what I'm going to do is kind of offset this second video clip. So if I scrub through here, now let's see, we can start the clip around there. And then that clip will reveal. All right, so now that we have the basics set up, now we need to mask out this top video track. So we need to go into the event pan crop. And here we're going to go into the mask. I'm going to make sure that I sync the cursor up just so I can see how it looks kind of over here in the preview window so I can move it around and see what's going on. All right, so what we want to do is add a mask around his body right here. And as we move forward, we want that mask to move forward along with his body so that the other clip reveals below it. So in the mask here, let's go ahead and start around here and add a keyframe kind of before he walks in the video and then I'm going to move forward a frame and now he's walked in we can mask this out so we're going to go ahead and go into the anchor creation tool here and we're going to create a selection around his arm just like that and just finish this off boom all right so you can kind of see the second clip showing through. Now we need to fix this up a little bit. We can go back in here, go to the normal edit tool and click this, maybe move it forward a bit. Let's right click, deselect all and just kind of move each anchor around separately. Maybe move this forward just like that. And let's go into the feather type. Let's change it from none into in. We want it to feather in. And let's just bring that up to around something along the lines around 3.2 or even 4. Maybe 2.4. I think 2.4 works as well. I'm going to go with 3.2. And so now let's move forward. And you kind of got to go frame by frame to fix that. But what I like to do is kind of move forward. This is a little bit quicker. And just click an anchor point, right click, select all. And let's just drag this anchor point, just click the anchor point and drag it all the way forward. Just like that. So when we back up, it's kind of following him. Pretty close. We can actually select this keyframe, move it forward a bit, let's see. Or back. Let's see. And we may have to go into different portions like around here uh, let's just kinda bring this back select all bring this back right here we need to move that forward and then here we can finish it off and just move it out of the screen completely. Alright, so it can take some time depending on what you're doing. It's not perfect, 
but it looks pretty good over here. Let's go ahead and render out this section. Shift B, pre-render that. And let's preview that, see how that looks. Maybe, there we go. All right, so not bad. Now this transition works great if you're in a public location, such as a mall where there's a lot of people, and let's say someone walks past the camera, there's your opportunity for a great smooth transition. Just mask them out and then you can move on to the next cut in your video. Now this doesn't just have to be a person, it can be a car. You just kind of have to make sure the object takes up the entire portion of the screen for it to look good. So there you have it, adding walk-by transitions here in Sony Vegas. It's not as hard as you think. If you like this video, be sure to click that little like button down below. And if you'd like to see more like these, click that little subscribe button up at the top. And as always, be sure to check out robertsproductions.net where you can see more information about each tutorial I post, along with daily tips. So there you have it. Hope this helped. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.